mirror will not come down. So we're going to open this up and do a basic lube and try to get it working again. So the way that we do this is we take off the bottom cover. So this bottom cover is held in place by four flathead screws. So I'm going to break out my an inch screwdriver kit here. Make sure you've got the right size so that you don't damage the um, screws that you're working with. So let's see if we can take this apart. It's magnetized, which is really helpful. And it has, in fact, a little tray here, which I'm going to use to keep my small pieces from running away. Notice these two screws in the middle are smaller than the others. And hopefully this will now come off. And it does. Beautiful. So now we can see the mechanism and the problem is right here. This is catching right there. This is the mirror return. So if that pushes over, then the mirror returns and you can see that that worked. And if I try it again, what happens? It worked. And now it got stuck again. So it catches right there. Now there are some um, videos around that recommend that you take this little arm off right here, this one, by removing this clip, disconnecting this arm, and then filing that edge down and then putting it back in. I'm not going to recommend that. I'm going to assume that the designers knew what they were doing when they put this camera together. And the actual problem with this is a lubrication issue on these two gears right here. As a quick fix, I'm going to give it a shot to just lubricate these two gears right here and see if that helps the problem. This is Braun appliance oil, so it's a very fine, lightweight oil. Tiny drop on there. Tiny drop on there. That one's stuck a little bit. This is on 1 60th. They most commonly get stuck on the slow shutter speeds, so let's go down to one second shutter speed. See what happens. Yeah, it's stuck. So we'll move that back. We'll put a tiny drop of oil here. Tiny drop there. So that's working now. Let's slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a bit more. So we're down to an eighth of a second now. That's pretty good. Quarter second. That's working. Half second. And one second. That seems to be working well enough for me. So we'll put this bottom plate back on. As always with screws like this, don't put them in too tight. Don't turn them too hard. Make sure you've got them threaded properly before you start turning should go in really easy. If it doesn't, you're cross-threaded and you're risking doing severe damage to your camera. It's always a good idea. Go backwards a little bit before you go forwards just to make sure it's seated properly. And 
on all screws clockwise tightens and counterclockwise loosens. This occasionally is backwards if the normal operation of whatever you're trying to fasten would loosen a standard threaded screw. Sometimes you'll get a backwards threaded a counterclockwise thread. For example, on things that are fastening armatures together. All right, so that part is better. Now let's have a look at this and go, what else needs doing? This mirror looks terrible, but this camera had a lens on it that had fungus on the outside of the rear element. So it's entirely possible that this camera was stored in a really humid environment for some time got some fungus growing inside that got on the lens also so i'm just going to do another once over with a dry swab and we're going to go Gently, gently, gently on the glass side here. Give it another blowout. I think I will use a sensor cleaning swab with a tiny bit of lens cleaner on it. And blow it out. Have a look. That is considerably cleaner. And the mirror works now. So let's put our, this is an auto, auto Mamiya Secor 55 1.4 M42 mount, which came with this camera and it had pretty bad fungus on the back of the element. But now I have cleaned the lens, I've cleaned the fungus off the lens, I've taken the lens apart, and now I have cleaned the mirror, the outside of the bottom side of the viewfinder ground glass, the mirror, and I have lubed the mirror return mechanism so that this camera now works. Good times.